I got taken to Nosey Road to watch St. Helens v. Workington in 1996. And I remember Anthony Sullivan scored five tries, who was, along with Tommy Martin, were the heroes when I was going on. Blackwood Royals, yeah. I, I've got to say, making my debut at St Helens, just because obviously I grew up as a season ticket holder watching them every week. Um, it, was, it was just all I wanted to do while I was, while I was a kid and a teenager, so to, to play for that club at, at that level, um, that, was, that, you know, that was something that I'll never forget. I had a last minute winner uh, for, for Halifax against Bradford. Uh, Halifax hadn't beat Bradford for some like 27 years. Uh, and we were drawing and then I intercepted, from, I think we am going to say about 50 out, ran the, ran the length and, and scored in the last minute. So that's a try that will always stick with me. I've got a position I'll say as a centre. Say Keith Senior. I remember playing against Keith Senior. He was at Leeds. This was again playing against St. Helens. He was the first person to break my nose and did me off in the face. And then split my nose was like that. So um, yeah, Keith Senior was a, was a handful. I like to answer this in two ways because obviously I, I was lucky enough to, to play with some greats at St. Helens, um, but I've spent most of my career in the Championship. So I'd say the best. Player I played with while I was in Super League was Paul Schoolfarth. He just had everything, he was just unbelievable at the whole game. Um, treated me fantastic, was always nice with me, and just a legend of the sport. And then in the Championship, um, would, be, would be Scott Morell. He's, a, he's another legend and a, a leader who I, I've always looked up to. I could be here a long time with that. <laughs> um, Say, I probably, I've never come across anybody quite like Nick Fozard again since since my earlier days in the career. He, he was nuts. He was he was he was wild. And he, was, he was a funny block. Uh, Scott Mel again, another funny block. Uh, Matty Smith, Matty's a legend. We all, we all know this club uh, top block. He, he has many stitches all the time as well. Uh, probably Matty, yeah. Probably Matty, I could, yeah, Danny as well. There's a few here because I've, I've known Danny since he was a kid. Shane, obviously, I spent many hours on the M62 with Shane. Played a lot with him, so I'd, I'd probably say that in Or Steven Gerrard. Uh, just, just the way that he just dragged Liverpool through everything. Uh, never forget uh, Istanbul. Or five. I, had a, I think I had one of my GCSE exams the next day, and don't think it went too well, like because of that game. But uh, you know, without them memories and without him, I don't think we'd have had all that. Uh, Paul, my granddad. Uh, my granddad was the one who stepped up for me when I when I lost my father when I was young. Uh, he's the one who got me everywhere. And, Took me to games, took me here, there, and everywhere. So yeah, I'd say we had that, yeah. Uh, I like looking at the islands. Can't go wrong. We've done all of them. Uh, can't go wrong with them. I've got to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been Nando's for about six years or something like that. I'm not. I'm just not a big Nando's fan, like. So I don't know. It's chicken, isn't it? So chicken. <laughs> Xbox, but I don't really play it anymore because my kids have took over them, so I don't really get a lock in about Xbox. Call of Duty, I'm rubbish on FIFA. My son reads me on that, so he's seven. Well, God, it's got to be mine, right? <laughs> Matty's got one, but he's a bit scruffy, isn't it? He's got twigs in it and all kinds of stuff. I've always said Messi, but for some reason, my, my son now is obsessed with Ronaldo, so with the amount of YouTube videos I've seen of him, I'm probably leaning towards Ronaldo now. 
Mike Tyson Fury, a bit more of a character than you know, the sport, sport needs characters like that. 